This fucking sucks. This could not be the worst timing ever. <laughs> so I'm right in the middle of uploading a, um, <laughs> a road trip series. <clears throat> so I hope you like that. Uh, there's four road trip videos coming out. Boom, 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 the next four days. Um, this is my, uh, I think it's last weekend, or the weekend before. Um, Coco and I did a uh, road trip down to uh, Lake Tekapo. So you're going to get to see um, Geraldine Museum on the way down there. Then the next video is the Tekapo Hot Poles. Then the next video is the snow tubing. Uh, and then the, the last video is the trip home. So, you know, each video is like six, seven, eight minutes long. Um, so, yeah, check those out. And, um... Yeah, the snow tubing is probably the best one, the third one. Anyway, um, probably best off if I begin this video by showing you the damage. Okay, so I'm hoping that this comes out not too dark and you can see it. Okay, that's a normal knee. That's what my knee, my normal knee looks like. And this is a birthmark, by the way. That's not like a burn or anything. And then the comparison. Uh, this is my fucked up knee. Uh, this part here is all swollen up enormously, all around the kneecap is all swollen up. Uh, not so much on the inside, not so much around the back or anything, but this like quadricep muscle right on top of the knee is all swollen up from my accident. As you will ah, quickly become aware, the worst part about this accident is movement, mobility. Okay, so what happened? My job requires me to uh, ride a motorbike, and that's fine. Nothing wrong with mo riding motorbikes. Riding motorbikes are all right, except for when you come off the motorbike. Come on, coming off the motorbike, it ain't, it ain't that much fun. Um, it was very, very simple thing, and it's actually the, the same accident that I've had three times before. See, in my, oh, I'm 38 now. In my early 20s, I r rode like three different motorbikes. And I had the same accident three times, and it's basically when you're slowing down, when you're braking, and the surface of the road, for whatever reason, doesn't give you the traction you need, and your bike slips out from under you. Um, so I've had this happen three times before. Um, twice it was on gravel, and once it was on a wet road. Um, and on the wet road, it was when, um, I, didn't, I don't think I rode across a white line that time. But on this instance, I was riding across a white road marking. So the white road markings, um, depending on the country you live in, th those are the bits that are painted white in the middle of the road. Um, it might be like a triangle, it might be a diamond, it might be an arrow, whatever it is. Those white road markings are, um, they're kind of a hazard for motorbikes. And um, I was pulling over, because um, I had to pull over, and uh, was braking and I wasn't really even braking any harder than usual but it was obviously just enough to make my wheels slip out um, because it had been raining that whole friggin morning it had been raining and the, and the roads were just a bit greasy you know it wasn't raining at the exact moment that I come off but it had been raining so the road was all greasy plus me slowing down plus over road marking the bike just decided I'm gonna go exit stage right and my body is like Oh, but we need to keep going straight. Um, yeah, so I hit the ground quite hard. Um, you can see a very tiny little graze there, and the reason that's just a tiny little graze on the elbow is because I had um, a couple of layers on as well. So I had like my jacket on and my long sleeve shirt on. Um, so, I mean, if I was wearing bare skin, like this would be, ugh, that this would all be bandaged up. Um, uh, some of the other damage you can't see is I've got like a cracked rib or a bruised rib or something because this side of my body constantly hurts because you know it was the left side of my, left side of my body that hit the ground and um, but the worst part is the knee um, I mean I could tell that I'd done some damage to my knee um, you know from the very second second that I, I, I hit the ground uh, good news there doesn't appear to be any broken bones um, because after I got taken to the medical center, because uh, we had to get one of the other guys from work to come take the bike back to base, and one of the other guys from work took me to the medical center. So I sat around, waited for a doctor, saw the doctor, um, 
didn't they did an x-ray um, so there, there could be a hairline fracture on my femur we're not sure um, it's hard to tell from the x-ray uh, may or may not be a fracture there don't know um, but what's more likely is probably I've stretched or pulled a, ling ling a, a tendon or ligament something like that because this this injury seems to be in the same kind of vein similar to like rolling an ankle like if you've rolled an ankle and it's gotten all swollen up and you can't walk for like five days uh, it appears to be similar to that we'll see uh, right now this injury is within the first 24 hours so within the first 24 hours of any injury like this it's all swollen up and inflamed and it hurts to to do anything basically <sighs> yeah so it's all swollen up um, and that's what fucking sucks about this kind of injury is the lack of mobility, you know, trying to friggin' move around. Man, oh man, oh man, oh man. Everything is a bloody mission. I, literally, I walked into that doctor's office because I got into the doctor's office less than an hour after the injury happened. And the, the swelling was just like, kept increasing, you know, as, as time goes on. Because you're, you know, when you do this kind of damage to your you know, ligaments or tendons or whatever, um, your body's the swelling is your body sending a whole lot of blood to that area because your blood is what's going to heal it. Um, you know, to try to isolate that area and put as much healing power in. Um, but the healing power, uh, you know, itself, which is what the swelling is, creates pain because your tissues are having to expand the in a way that they don't normally do so that creates pain ah uh, so I walked into the I, I limped into the medical office and by the time I was done about two hours later I was walking out on crutches with a great deal of difficulty okay now what you saw here that was not an act um, a lot of times you see things on YouTube and people people just they, they fake things and they and they make and they make a big act and, and, and whatever uh, because you know a lot of it's fiction and that kind of stuff. This is this is fucking real. <laughs> this is fucking real. Ah, uh, yeah. So yeah, I mean just getting around the house. God. I mean when I go to the toilet, it takes like five minutes to go to the toilet. Because you've got to figure out how to stand up without hurting your leg. You've got to get your crutches, hold on to your crutches, walk to the toilet, do your business, come back to what you were doing. Every activity around the house is like, what's the word, um, expanded exponentially. Just because you, you've, <laughs> it, it, it just, you know, I can walk at a speed of maybe half a kilometre per hour. <laughs> it's probably about that fast and it's not walking it is it's, it's like limping around with the crutches you know kind of like leaning on the crutches because I can't I can't like weight bear I can't put any weight on my left leg at this stage so hopefully it's like just like a sprain and the, and the swelling will go down and hopefully it'll it'll come right after a week or two we'll see so anyway keep watching the videos um, some videos we've got upcoming. Um, we've got a few China videos uh, upcoming. We've got like a like a five part, uh, not five part. There, there, there's like a, a five things I discovered in China video. There's the uh, there's a Xi'an night market video coming up. Um, there's the Tekapo Tekapo videos here in um, in New Zealand. Um, got a funny video about what not to pack um, in your suitcase. It's kind of a parody video. Um, and since I'm going to be sitting around for the next week at least, probably that'll give me a chance to edit it, edit up some of the, you know, rest of the China video footage that I've got, um, because I've got still backlogs of stuff from 2014 and 2012 from previous videos to China. So I've only edited and uploaded probably half of all my China videos. So there's still more of that content coming. So, anyway, this video has gone on long enough. And, uh, hey, if you guys had a, a, a bad knee injury before? If anybody has, let me know, away, hey, because I'd like to have some idea of how long it takes before it's going to heal. And I'd better put one of these compression bandages back on. Got my drugs. 
my paracetamol, got my anti-inflammatories, and now I've got nothing but time and pain. See you later. Like, comment, subscribe. Bye.